so I'm here in Columbia, South Carolina with my team members competing from Member Squad Training. Uh, my clients, Trisha King, Taylor Tolson, Ryan Burr, and I've got Celia Gomez coming in uh, Sunday as well for the test today. Um, and she's coming from California, so we're getting money all throughout. Um, I woke up this morning 158, so I'm still 10 pounds out. I'm heavy for my competing for my weight class. I'm officially uh, one week away from my weigh-in. So yeah, um, we got a week to do this. So it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Um, I'm gonna try to document for the majority just about every day so you guys know what I'm doing, my protocol. Um, and for today, like what I've done so far is I'm really just like prioritizing my carbs. Like I prioritize my carbs around when I am training. So when I need them pre-workout and post-workout for recovery, that's when I'm really still eating my carbs there. Um, but now I'm a week out after I do my last, you know, workouts that actually require any kind of, you know, any kind of actually strenuous lifting. Um, I'll probably cut my carbs, you know, just taper them gradually out. So that way by the end, I'll be probably running off no carbs. Um, for, but just for as little as possible because you want to remain depleted for as little as possible and so I'm just going to manipulate my water accordingly too to kind of help me flush out uh, flush out everything and just still the goal is to remain as depleted like for as little as possible so I'm going to make weight and then I'm going to you know get myself right back up to my fight weight uh, so I'm headed now says we just we just wait in all my clients just wait in so now we're about to go get some food um, And everybody's you know the typical we're gonna go grab some breakfast because I like you know throw in as much carbs as we can after weighing in uh, initially get down a PDA light get on a PDA light and try to get down as much water as you can but slowly like slowly gradually you know do it intentionally um, because if you you know chug your water or chug your pedial or anything too fast you'll get waterlogged and you could get sick so that's the thing you don't want to do is you don't want to get sick I've done that several times during a weight cut where it's just like you push yourself and force feed so much that you start throwing up and that's really the last thing you want to do because if you're throwing up you're obviously not gonna be able to keep anything down you want to keep as much down and you know so keep it just keep the food coming in gradual right. steady flow then the destination but, uh, is on your left. so going to eat with my clients and I'll be having you know just some mainly protein mainly protein and fats here because I'm really just trying to manage my weight and make this as smooth as possible for me Arrived. and it's gonna suck a little bit you know watching them eat pancakes and delicious bagel sandwiches and stuff but you know what's gonna be even more rewarding is me making weight hitting this total and really just having a good day so all the while like this might seem a little bit like suffering or something you know a lot of people are like oh you're just watching the meat or you're eating like not what you really want well you got to make sacrifices for what you do really want so if what I really wanted was you know to sit here and eat these pancakes like cool then I could you know very well go do that and eat these pancakes but what I want is a lot bigger than that so I got to remember the big picture here suffer a little bit now and live as a champion so we're here and about to get this money it's probably time to leave the dark side <laughs> We have an extra bedroom. Okay. Hey. Hey. Two clients sitting at the table. News is rain's finally stopped, slowed down just a little bit. I'm here at the um, Columbia Airport to pick up my client Celia. She came from California and she's going to be competing with us today. So I'm on the way to the airport, um, waiting for her to text me. I'm going to pick her up. Got that money. Bricks was. All right, so here we are. We're in the back of the warm-up room um, at the meet this weekend in Columbia. Uh, special thanks to Gary and Trisha for letting me use the warm-up room to finish up my squats. These are my last squats uh, for the meet. Gotta hit 
475 for a couple singles. Looks like it's gonna be a self wrap, um, self wrap, self handled situation. Flat out strong.
it's just one of those things that nobody wants to talk about or nobody wants to really admit that sometimes you don't have a whole room full of people clapping for you or cheering for you. For the majority of my training, for the majority of my part of my career, I've trained pretty well alone. Um, you know, I've had significant other, you know, provide some help before. But um, this last prep, I, Dallas and Courtney really helped me out a ton because I wouldn't have been able to really do much without them helping me operate the mono, wrap me um, yesterday, you know, wrap myself. I wrap myself in a socked bit, um, wrap myself. You know, there's, look, there's nobody in here clapping for me. There's nobody in here making sure that I do my crap. You know, that's what I am as an athlete, and that's why I know that I am one of one of the elite, I am the best in the world, you know, because really nothing but just pure discipline. And whatever specialty or sport I choose to be, within reason, um, you can be the best at it, and I could be the best at it because I'm willing to do the work, I'm willing to do the work to get there. And um, that's really all it ever takes, honestly, and people fail to realize that. But, you know, because this is the being consistent is hard. You don't have people giving you pats on the back. But when it's just what you do, it's just what you do. No matter what, we're going to get it done. Consistency breeds confidence. Just keep showing up. Keep showing up, and if it feels heavy, guess what? It probably is. <laughs> just keep going. Um, All right, boss. All right, boss. Tell me what we're going to do today. We're going to turn this party out. We're going to get some money? Yes. <laughs> yes. They still could not load the, bar, the plates. They were still trying to... Where's your own t-shirt? I will get those in a second. Yeah. Why were the people dropped out? <laughs> and this edition of Bama Brick Squad Cribs. Oh, I'm gonna start, but I will. <gasps> yeah. What's your breakfast, Trisha? Oops. Where are they at? For my belly. <laughs> what are we about to do this morning? Get this fucking money. I hear you. Oh. Oh girl, like a model, like a model <laughs> too, you know. Lifters, don't forget, you need to give your tea. So what are you doing right now, Seth? What is this? Right now, I'm scraping her trap to get blood in the area. But when I massage it, I can really push the blood in the muscle. And what's that going to do, Seth? Well, hopefully, overall, loosen up this area of her trap. So, shoulders on her, back on her. Celia, what did we do today? We went nine for nine. And? We got this money. Get money. <laughs> so, we headed back home. Uh, we're on Columbia this weekend. Head on Walkers. Uh, train. Time to train. Um, we finished it. Not all week. We finished. Hope it's going to be a good night. It's going to be a good night. Blow your cocky for me. Tell the judge he can't see my parents tell me that I, I didn't know it, but that somehow in some way, shape, form, that I saved his life. Forget it, Tuttle. Forget it, Tuttle. You know, it's, that's not honestly what it's even about. It is. It is to me. Because I know that I've got something i got to do. But you know, it's the process. And it's by all the mistakes. It's by all the 
grass. Things that I've done wrong that now I know how to do correctly. And it's all the things that I've learned that I can help others, you know? And being able to coach, mentor, and take care of people. That's what I think power is.